Imagine a former party leader called to testify about an ongoing political trial and unexpectedly receives just one question from the defense. This unusual situation took place on October 23, 2024, as former Workers' Party, WP, leader Lothia Kiang spent only 35 minutes on the stand in the trial involving WP's current Secretary-General, Pritam Singh, regarding a controversy that has stirred Singapore's political landscape. Former Workers' Party leader Lothia Kiang was called as a witness on October 23, 2024, in the trial of Pritam Singh, the WP's current Secretary-General, shedding light on key aspects of an October 2021 meeting about ex-WP MP Raisa Khan's statements in Parliament. Lowe's involvement spanned about 35 minutes, beginning around 4.15pm with his examination led by Deputy Public Prosecutor Tan Ben Mathias. The meeting discussed Khan's initial untruths in Parliament, with WP Chair Sylvia Lim explaining to Lowe that they were considering a press conference to allow Khan to make a public apology. Viewers, would you expect more questioning in such a serious political case? In this critical meeting, Lowe recalled advising Lim and Singh that the appropriate forum for clarifying any lie would be Parliament. When asked if government authorities knew of the situation, Lim told Lowe that it was unlikely they did, given the many police stations across Singapore, underscoring how early this discussion was. Lowe noted that Lim appeared anxious during the meeting, while he hadn't noticed Singh's demeanor. At the time, both Singh and Lim informed him of their intention to expel Khan from the party. What do you think of this early intent by WP leaders to take strict action? Do you believe it reflects the party's commitment to transparency? A significant aspect of Lowe's testimony involved whether he knew specific facts before the meeting. He clarified that he was not informed that both Singh and Lim had previously urged Khan to clarify her untruth in Parliament or that they discussed the matter with Khan on October 3, 2021. Lowe added that his only impression from the October 11 meeting was that it was the first time he was being informed about the matter. For those following WP closely, what do you think of this sequence of communication within the party? The timeline of events grew more complex as Lowe revealed that he only learned in August 2023 that Singh, Lim, and Faisal Manap had been aware of Khan's lie since August 2021. According to Lowe, he found this late revelation surprising, prompting him to question the delay in disclosing these facts. What are your thoughts on this, and why might such information take so long to surface within the WP? Lowe's testimony also mentioned his guidance to Singh following Khan's November 2021 apology, recommending the creation of a disciplinary panel consisting of Singh, Lim, and Manap. When the prosecution asked if Lowe had followed the Committee of Privileges proceedings in December 2021, he admitted he'd only read brief newspaper reports and not the full details. Lowe's brief time on the stand concluded with the defense's one question, whether Lowe agreed that a parliamentary lie should be clarified in Parliament, to which he responded, yes, I think so. With no further questions, Lowe was surprised, responding, what? That's all, when excused from the stand. Speaking later to the media in Mandarin, Lowe admitted he had anticipated more questions, adding he felt the prosecution's line of inquiry was appropriate. This testimony highlights some rare moments in Singapore's political system, how often do you think former leaders speak out in such cases? Looking at the broader picture, Lowe expressed optimism, telling reporters that this trial would not greatly impact the Workers' Party. He expressed his faith in the maturity of Singaporean voters, emphasizing that in any organization, there can be hiccups. He added that Singaporeans could distinguish between competent and non-competent politicians, affirming his belief that Singh is a capable leader with a dedication to the country and its people. As you consider this complex and evolving situation, how do you think this case will shape the Workers' Party's image among voters? Let us know in the comments. If you found this coverage insightful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to 2230 for more detailed political coverage.